I have two oranges and one apple. This is reality. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Now, mathematically, I'm going to say, hang on, these two oranges are actually two apples, and the apple is an orange. For the scenario or what? Does that make in reality this an orange and this two apples? What are you doing? For the explanation? What? what? Do you want me to imagine? Mathematically, that I'm saying uh, this is an orange. These are two apples. Did I prove that mathematically? No. Okay. I have three pieces of fruit. Uh huh. Two apples, one orange. Okay. Mathematically, okay. I prove I have three fruits. I have two apples, one orange. Did I prove that mathematically? You have to. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Wait, so you want me to imagine that those oranges are apples or what? Mathematically, I've proven there's three fruits. Yeah. Mathematically, I've shown to you, have two have apples shown, and one orange. You have shown three fruits. Yep. Two oranges and one apple, right? Yeah. No. Two apples, one orange. Oh. Yep. Well, no, because those aren't apples, they're oranges. No, but math says it is. The math says I have two apples what and math? one orange. What yep. math did you do? You didn't yeah, do any three. math. I, had, I took two apples and I plussed one orange. So I had in the mm -hmm. basket, I had three pieces of fruit, three fruits yep. in the basket. Mm -hmm. Mathematically, I've proven that this uh, orange plus the two apples make the three fruits mm -hmm. each. You didn't mathematically prove anything. You did. So there's not three fruits now. What? So did no I mathematically evidence? prove this three fruits? fruits? Okay, so you, so you, you. Okay, so you add. Where's the calculation to prove that there's apples and oranges? Uh, oranges and apples. I took yeah. an orange. This is mathematically calling this an orange, and I'm mathematically calling this two apples. For the explanation? Yes, for the okay. explanation. Okay. Did I mathematically prove that there's three fruits, two apples, and one orange mathematically? I guess. Yep. Now, in, in reality, are there three fruits? Yes. Yeah. Are there two apples? No. Ah, so maths can lie. Yep. Right. Same, well, as my point. Same as my point in the raindrop. Oh, yeah. Maths lies. Maths can't yeah, lie. I don't get. I don't get the scenario. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the. I don't it's get mathematically. the. Maths, maths, exactly. Mathematically. Mathematically. Uh, I, I know what point you're trying to say that mathematics lies, but I don't get how the example helped you. Oh, well, I guess that's on me. <laughs> okay. That's, it was kind of like the same point with the raindrop. <laughs> that was just a bit I mean, strange. I did this with the cups before as well, Luca, where I said mathematically I show I have two cups, but in reality I have one. But mathematically... Just because I mathematically describe two cups, cups, yeah, it doesn't make it in reality two cups. It's still but just you, one cup. But mathematically, you oh. have one cup. No, mathematically, I have two. Let me put it this way. I have one no. cup, and I plus another cup. Yep. So now, mathematically, I have two cups. But in reality, yep. I haven't plused one cup. I've just said I've plused one cup maths. Yep. So I've proven mathematically I have two cups, but in reality I have one cup. Again, maths has proven to only describe and can lie because it's only a language. language. And you guys use maths to prove your heliocentric model. In other words, you're describing or you are saying a fantasy story about your religion. It's a storybook of a fairy tale. It's like, you know, when you when, when you were a child and your mom and dad read to you, once upon a time, there was a princess and a knight. Yeah. Okay? That's what maths is. It's a mm -hmm. storybook. 
It's describing fantasy. It doesn't make the description of the fantasy make it reality. It's talking to you. It's a language.